earlier on, about two weeks ago, almost two weeks ago, I uh, posted something here about wearing a mask. I was, I was sure the people got it, but I did not know that it was mixed in with politics, economics, and all that, which uh, draws me into attention that why would people listen to the government when the government is wrong? And I realized that when I advocated, hey, listen to your health workers and, and government, I was not really right. Sorry, I was wrong. Listen to your common sense. It did. I earlier said that when you breathe, or when you cough, or when you talk, when you sneeze, you create a mixture of that bubbles, of uh, that droplets, and that what causes the virus to get transmitted through droplets. And I realized that when I said wear your mask when you're going out, I was right. But people or the government has some something else in their minds or the uh, great virologists, the great uh, teachers, the great politicians, the great economists, the super doctors of what is this and what is that. They, they were wrong at first. I was right. And then they're calling it a war. I knew it. They would say that knew it because long before uh, these things happened how could you as a medical profession how could you realize that a case would abruptly show up in a place where there was no known trouble for the individual known contact to anybody that had uh, uh, the virus it was an isolated case and yet they have uh, signs and symptoms and later on got positive for COVID virus infection. How could you tell that? There was no known trouble. And then not only small places, but each and every uh, place in the world has it now. I was right all along. Cleanliness, all that, there's no cure for the virus except the best as I told you before the best way to do that is to isolate yourself you're almost certain that you're not going to get it because you're isolated from everybody else and no one can infect you as well now behind me is a real-time uh, picture of what's going on with the coronavirus if you look on my uh, right hand side top corner that's the total cases around the world in real time I noticed that if there is somebody who dies from it this one turns uh, uh, okay let's go to this one total deaths this one will turn red and there's a uh, eerie uh, music that will blurt out and that's the total number of recoveries on the next line and these are all the countries that are affected from top United States all the way to the bottom which is uh, running so there are 208 territories or countries that have been affected by that so there you go the pandemic goes on we have an overload of information coming from almost every corner of your of your universe but the best way to deal with this is that your common sense will dictate you number one cleanliness wash your hands don't touch your face number two uh, don't go out if it's not necessary for you to be out. Stay in. Still, 
another thing is that be on the lookout always wear your mask as i told you before wear it it's not going as i told you before if it's not in your back you don't really care but when it hits you when it hits somebody near you that's the time you care but also the other thing is once you are isolated make sure that you have extra space for the other individual and uh, let's pray and hope that this thing will be over with it's draining everybody look at that that's the real time if you do that real time it will show you minute by minute hour by hour statistical uh, numbers that that shows you how this pandemic is showing up at our do doorsteps it's not good to see those numbers because those are not those are not numbers that are very joyful to see but I'll cut this short again and hopefully this will be my last transmission for you guys and the next time we'll be in a joyful mood and everybody recovers from all this but in the meantime stay safe folks stay safe be safe and practice health uh, uh, healthy precautions god bless bye for now